it blows my mind that 26 names for 26 miles, like the fact that I can even say 26, it's not even telling the whole picture. You know, leading into the couple days before the race, I was trying to do research just names that I could find. And there are some that, you know, a lot of people do know that did make national news, but there are so many others that just haven't even made the news. With every mile that I hit, I said that name, I looked down at it, and I just said a prayer um, in hoping that there is justice for her and for her family and for the communities that are involved. The collaboration that's needed between the government and within Indian country needs to have open communication and a consultation process, which the government tries to say that they do. It's kind of like a check in the box if they called the tribe and the tribe didn't call back or if it was a very short conversation, they consider that a consultation. Indian country, you know, at least for me, I would say, won't trust you if you're not making an effort to come talk to us. These women, our sisters, our indigenous women, you know, have been taken since time immemorial. And I would say that, you know, that's the longest Me Too movement. My plan going forward is, you know, to have another batch of names if I'm going to do another marathon or if I'm going to do another race is to, to keep finding these names.